Morning. 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 Welcome to Cards with Connor. The time is 7:11. We are just now leaving the driveway. This is a bad one. Mm. We've been off for a few days too, so there's <laughs> literally no excuse. You alright? Yeah. We just determined we suck. Mm. Yeah. Okay, well it is trash day. Mm. And as you can see- Wait, I've... wait, wait, what was that? What? I saw something moved back there. Where? Behind, in the tree, D drive up. Go up to the- What moved? I got trash on the front oh, of my car. It's oh, it's a, a crow. crow. Just a crow. Jesus God. For a second, I thought it was a dog. I've seen a fox up here before, like a mangy looking fox. And well, it's trash day. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was like, well, hell, now we can't get out and I gotta drive to work with two bags of trash on my car. I thought it was a dog. Well, that, I'm telling you, I saw a mangy, crazy fox out here. It looked like it had rabies. Uh, did it have two tails? People. No, just one. I uh, need two. Then it wasn't tails. Oh, well. Okay, can you. I'll be here with the hand sanitizer if you go dump the trash bags. All right, all right, I'm on it. Ready when you are. What are these pants doing in here? Oh, I wanted to send those to the dry cleaners. Boop. Oh, I have to go to work straight from Connor's work drop off. So, I... Week, we had so much trash. A bird ripped the bags all over the driveway, which I think we did. Yeah, that's what they're doing. I think they know that we're the house that freaking has too much trash. Why'd you shoosh them? Because uh, of the trash incident of last yeah. week? Yeah. The last thing I want is to be picking up garbage. I agree. It was, there, I noticed, I know you did say you swept up some of the... Hmm? Some fluffing. Or did you paint? Uh, what? The, it's like a little white paint uh, stain. What is that from, do you think? No idea. Oh, hey. I was, I'm on hand sandy duty. You know... No, no, let's, uh... We I'm, go get, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Just, just do that. Maybe go now. My biggest thing, yeah, we're out, we're out, we're out, we're out, we're out, we're out. Grab your coffee over the bump of death. <sighs> hey, relax, I already drunk most of it. Damn, you get that down your neck. <sighs> yep. Um, so you were just showing me a cool picture in your phone? Yeah, it was of Moon Dancer, one of the new dragons from House of the Dragon. Which I am still remiss in making our HBO Max account. Yeah. So I need to do that. Um, like tonight, because yeah. I really want to watch that. Yes, and I, yes, and I really, really, they wanted. To, I read ahead in my. Yeah. There's a fluff. Oh yeah, there's a fluff there. Yeah. I also. I read ahead in my the Rise of the Dragon in book, you know, yeah. the history of the Targaryen dynasty. Why'd you read ahead? Well, I wanted to find out what happened after Luke was killed. Don't tell me. I want to so badly. I know, but you have to restrain yourself. I don't want to know. I'm on the I'm still on the cliffhanger. Okay. I won't Come tell on. you. How often do do I get into your stuff? Not often. This is one that we can share together. Yeah. You got to be nice to me, man. You cheat stream. You cheat read. It's not cheating. It's studying. Okay. Well, you cheat studying. That doesn't even not make the sense. same. It does not make sense. <laughs> it at doesn't all. even make any kind of sense. How could someone cheat and study? It literally doesn't make any sense. I like making up absolute bullshit. It's what I do. Is this too loud, do you think? We should close. Yeah. I just love my morning air. Cheat study, that's not a thing. I want to make it a thing. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Woo! So why do you want to make it a thing if it doesn't make sense? Okay. It's... Well, 
What a crazy world to we, watch that. <laughs> we watched a super funny episode last night of Still Game. Yeah, well. So I'm, I'm turned on to this show. It's so inappropriate. <laughs> they swear at kids. <laughs> they swear at kids. Uh huh. Like bad. I'm sorry. What did Winston say he had? Oh no! We're not gonna do it on this channel. But I'm just saying. I'm not saying we don't swear. They conjure up some stuff. <laughs> like, and the way the last scene of that show went. What we'll just tell you was called the do episode was called what? Uh, doctors. That's all we're gonna say. Cause. <laughs> we are too decent of human beings, and at this hour of the day, we aren't talking about all that kind of yeah. literal shit. Yeah. Um, what was that dance they were doing called? Uh, I think it was the called... The Slosh? The Slosh. The Slosh. I don't know. I've never heard of that dance. <laughs> I don't... I have any. It was cute. It was like a little line dance, all the little Scottish people in the pub were doing. Yeah. The Slosh. We yep. should learn. <gasps> we should learn the slosh <laughs> and videotape ourselves doing said slosh. <laughs> like I could be. Um, I want to be Victor, and you could be Jack. What makes you think you could be Victor? I want to be Victor. He's. He just seems like more my jam. <laughs> I can see how they are kind of sweet yeah. people, but they they can be rude. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they've got the mentality is of 35 year olds. Yeah, but they're not, according to their. But the, I think they are younger men in makeup. Yes. But um, anyway, um, let's talk about. We I think we have viewer comments or questions yeah, or. Let's see. Okay. Sorry, Connor was off of work yesterday. We we didn't, didn't drive in, so we weren't here. Oh, the British are coming. The British are coming. Oh, that's right. Tomorrow. Wait, what is the uh, Paul Revere? One if by land and two if by sea. Yeah, that what, was... What do we do if they're coming by air? They did... Well, people couldn't come by air back then. Well, yeah, but now we have... So is it three if by air? I don't, I don't, there were only two hooks in the steeple of the Old North Church. And like I said, they weren't... Humans weren't capable of aviation back then. So there were only Even, two hooks? Two hooks for two lanterns, and the British came by sea. So they put up two? Yep. Well, our British are coming by air, so we need to add a hook. Yeah. That's tomorrow. Yep. We're gonna have the British cousins on our car ride. They already said they would come. Yep. I think with the jet lag, it's not too bad for them to do that in the, in the beginning. Yeah. They get up early anyway. Sorry, I took you away. I got excited. Yeah, uh, Mom, is this the only thing you said? No, if you scroll up. Didn't I scroll a bunch from last night? Oh, I didn't. What a donut. Well, the only question is... I think we have some. We, I think we have some. Brendy writes, Can't wait for the next episode. Does Connor have a favorite coffee? Hope to set it to a bag. i got my favorite local coffee in the P.O. box if you guys have a grinder. We do have a grinder. Yeah, we do. Our our actual our coffee pot is a grind and brew. Yeah. So we can grind or we can do grounds. We got options. Yeah. What's her name? Brendy. Brendy, we have options. And listen, we love coffee and we are down we're open to try any coffee, aren't we? Yeah. I wonder what brand is her favorite. I'll we'll have to find out. I can you look are you getting a headache? No, I'm just tired. Okay, can you look in your picture? Like, go up a little bit, because I'm sure there are ones we didn't get to that we can we can pull back on. Or we can just talk to each other. Crazy idea. Uh, let's see. I swear I sent you a bunch last okay. night. A John 1993 writes, Hello, Connor and Lise. I have a random question. Do you like the Andy Griffith show? I just started watching from the beginning and love it. Yeah. Yes. How does that one go? Uh. <laughs> yep. Don't don't let me hang. Let's finish it. <laughs> Bye. 
I don't know. Bam, bam, bam. And, okay. Yes, we know. like it is the answer to that one. So, I want to live in that town. Do you ever want to go to that town? Yeah, it seems peaceful. It seems so you know, safe. You kid who plays Opie, that's Ron Howard. Sure is. No doubt some of you are acquainted with his daughter, Bryce Dallas Howard. Where did she, what did she play in? Uh, she, it was Victoria in the Twilight Saga, Claire in Jurassic World, and, oh, she also, oh, produced some episodes of The Mandalorian. Oh, cool. Wow. If not directed. Helps to know people. Yeah. Um, so. I'm trying a new coffee creamer today, and I'm, I'm here for it. Do you know what the flavor is? Uh, Italian sweet cream? No, I'm trying a new one. Okay, um... I give up. Well, I wasn't meant for you to guess. I was meant for you to go, what flavor is it, Mom? Oh, yeah, well, what flavor is it? So glad you asked, Connor. <laughs> it's cookie butter. Cookie butter? Cookie... Cookie butter. Are we English this morning? Are we getting our British accent ready for tomorrow? Yeah. I gotta shine mine up, get it off the shelf. Dust I off. need to think about get, getting a nice tea set for my guest house. I yep. mean, did, did, did you know any, would any teapot suffice or, or does it have to be just porcelain? I mean, I don't know. That's gonna be a question for our UK peeps. Yeah. Or our, our tea kind of sewers. Does it mean you have to live in England or the yeah. UK? But I don't know. Like I don't know. They are you wanting to make tea with like real leaves and steep it in the infuser ball thing, or are you just looking at bags? Like how, I mean, I mean, how ba crazy are you getting? Here? I mean tea ba I mean I'm good either way. I mean tea ba I mean I mean crushed leaves are more traditional, but tea bags are more convenient and modern. Yeah, but you know, I always feel like you're so steeped in tradition. Yeah. You know, steeped, get it? Yeah. Like you steeped it? <laughs> yeah, you know, tradition, you know, oh, yeah, you, not, oh, you spilled some coffee. No, I didn't. Uh, yeah, you did. It's right there. As long as it's not on my clothes. Ugh. Oh, I got, got a napkin right there. Can because it ended up all over mine. I already stained. <laughs> Anywho. You know, traditionally they pour milk in before they pour the tea. Really? Yeah. See, I do the tea first then the milk because I have a certain color I'm trying to achieve and it is way too much of a gamble to understand the color to me because you only have so much height in a mug. I mean, you ask me, some teas are nothing more than hot leaf juice. That's what it is. That, that's what all okay. whole tea Quickly, is. We're back. I came grocery shopping after work. This car was here last night, broken down. And here it is still. And they still haven't given it a tow? No. It had the hazard lights on last night. It really must have conked out on them. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. I just thought that was an interesting observation I wanted to share. I'm sorry you're so late. I gotta go straight to work. Oh, good God. It's already 725. Oh, you just sweep in double time. Like they, like uh, Jack and Victor with their tablets. <laughs> They got all speedied up. Yeah. They got these tablets yeah, for anti-depression and they... They and mixed they, it with alcohol and... And they got hyped up. No, we're not going to say the end of it, but it was just funny. They got like super <laughs> hyper and they were talking and chewing gum really fast. Yeah. All right. So when you go to work, pretend you're them. All right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. Back to uh, uh, th thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and stay classy, Planet Earth. I love you. Nobody say goodbye to you but me. Bye. We are so late. He is so late. I'm going to be so early. It's really unfair. Although he was ready at the same time I was. So don't let him fool you, people. Don't let him fool you. Because I was all along kind of shouting earlier going, How you doing? You on track? How's it looking down there? And I was getting, yup, yup, yup. And then I got caught up because the dogs weren't coming in the car and Coco was having a straight up panic attack about not getting to go out the door with us. 
and Chewy and Axel was actually sitting there like, hey, stay with me, I'm used to this. So I had to put on the 80s music for the dogs and then I had to give them extra cookies because I just, I felt like that was the right thing to do. Leaving them all behind, I needed to make sure they knew they were still loved. So right now they're listening to the musical stylings of the 80s. I believe 80s soft rock on Amazon Music. And um, they got cookied up. So that's, that's where they are. It was actually heartbreaking. Coco was spinning in circles and trying to climb up me like a tree. Poor baby. That's it. Um, we are excited. The British are coming. The British are coming. I'm making it up three if by air. He can add a hook to his tower. And um, like I said, they said they would come with us. Um, we've got a big American bank holiday coming up this weekend that we are looking forward to Memorial Day weekend. Fun enough, Connor is going to be the Grand Marshal in the Atlanta Special Olympics, the Georgia Special Olympics, holy cow, statewide. Friday evening, I'm just so excited. It's gonna be great. And then Connor is off to the beach with his cousins and his siblings, and they're gonna have a little adult cousin sibling time, which I'm really happy for them. And then I'm gonna go out of town with my hubs, just Tony and I, because all our kids are grown and going off different directions. So it's like empty nester weekends, it's gonna be fun. I'll have the dogs though, so that's cool. Um, yep, so that's that. And then I think Connor's still gone on Tuesday. Gosh, you guys, we're gonna have to get creative with car rides with Connor because then we fly to Los Angeles, just Connor and I. Maybe we'll do some fun stuff there. May not be in a car, but I don't know that I wanna stay away from you guys for like over a week. I mean, I'll miss you guys. I love the comments and the interaction. Oh, no pup cup for you. I did take that episode down. Um, I'm going to put it back up. It needs a slight edit. Thank you to the subscribers who gave us the heads up with the issue. And um, I need Jack to edit it because I don't know how. And he hasn't done it for me yet because he's a donut. I only have to ask him 58 times before it gets done. And on time, 50. 6, 57, and 58, I have to scream like my head's falling off. And then, and only then, will Jack do what I've asked. And then say I'm such an egg. He could just do it the first time I asked. It'd be nice, but I don't know. It doesn't seem to be happening after 19 years. So, I don't know. I'm going to kind of go on history. So, I will try to get that episode back up because it was a fun episode. I think we talked about the Marna, I can't say that word, the King's Portrait, and it was a fun episode, but we did have to make a slight edit. So, anyhow, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. This is too early to be up and showered and ready to go to work. Mad respect for Cotter over here. Excuse me. Um, not only do I have this mug of coffee, I've got my whole travel mug of coffee from you, Buka. I have your travel mug today, and it will be with me at my sales meeting. I always get nervous when there's like a meeting at work. I don't know why. For me, it feels like the adult equivalent of being called to the principal's office. And I don't know, maybe in, in like other countries it's called the headmaster, but like here in like high school especially, there's principals or vice principals. Usually the vice principal is the one in charge of like discipline. Believe it or not, in high school I, I got sent to the office a lot. Nine times out of ten, it was for, guess what everybody, you're never going to guess, talking to much got kicked out of class because I wouldn't shut up. I know because some of you have commented to Connor that I don't shut up and I interrupt him. 
So it's been a long history, long time, long before Connor. So it's nothing personal to him. It's just unfortunately how my brain works. But yeah, I got kicked out of class for talking and disrupting others. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny. Um, I think the most smart ass move I made in high school, if you're interested, I'll tell you. Why not? It's just us. Was note passing was a big deal back in, I was in high school in the 80s, like late, mid to later 80s. I graduated in 1990, just to give you an idea. So I was probably freshman and sophomore, so whatever, whatever that was, 87, 88. And passing notes was like the biggest deal. And it was always like, as soon as the teacher turned her back, you would hand it off to the next person and let them know which, which seat it needed to get to, or you would try to throw it, or we got really creative, made them really small and rolled up the, the notes that we were passing in, the, in a pen cap and then put the pen back on the pen, pass the pen like they were borrowing the pen. So note passing was a big deal because we didn't have cell phones to text each other. Couldn't, couldn't talk like to each other through a phone. Um, so listen up kids, that's what we had to do. It was write old school little notes. So my algebra teacher, I was freshman, freshman year, and she turned to the class and she's like, that's it, Mrs. Resnick, I'll never forget her name. And she said, if I see one more note get passed in this class, it will be read out loud because you would always pass notes to say, oh my gosh, can you believe what she's wearing? Or, oh my gosh, I think so-and-so looks really cute today. You know, just stuff you wouldn't want anyone to know, but the person who was intended for the note. So Mrs. Resnick's big threat to the class was if she saw one more note get passed, she was taking it and reading it out loud to the class. So what does smart ass 15 year old Lise do? Challenge accepted. I'm such a jerk. So I write this note and I time it. So I think it make it look like I'm trying to not get caught, but I'm trying to get caught. So I wait till she's half turning to write something on the chalkboard. Yes, I said chalkboard. And she's like half turned, but I wait so I can know I can get in her peripheral vision. And I freaking just throw the note to nobody. I just like arc it across the room with no intended recipient except Mrs. Resnick. She didn't know that. She's like, that's it. She drops her chalk storms over, picks the note off the ground, because again, it wasn't meant for anybody, so no one tried to snatch it up. And she reads the note out loud, and she like half stops and was so pissed, because I said, hi, Mrs. Resnick. That's what I said. It was to her. I addressed the note to her just to say hi. And I got my ass thrown out of that class. So that was part of why I was always at the principal's office. Just little shenanigans. And when I graduated, I was up there so much. I think by the end of high school, the secretary loved me. Man, we had good times. I was helping her file. When I went to graduate, they joked around that they needed to put a little plate on the, the office chair with my name on it. Because I sat in it so much. Oh, well. I guess I didn't end up completely hopeless. But, you know. So anyway, I don't know why... I felt compelled to share all of that with you or how I even got on that topic. But this is evidence that I really don't need anyone to talk to, but it myself. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna shut up. Oh, sales meeting, going to the principal's office. Fair, full circle. I'm on my way to my sales meeting and I'm scared. I don't wanna get yelled at. I don't know why I think I would, but my sales are, are good, but anyway, it just makes me nervous. Okay, I will let you guys know how the sales meeting went. Um, but you guys have a super day. I've kept you far too long with my bullshit and my shenanigans. I hope you guys have a fabulous Tuesday. The British are coming tomorrow. So what my hope is that Thursday or Friday of this week, we will have the English in the back seat. Woo -woo. Okay. Y'all have fun. Have a great day. Love you. Mean it. Bye.